What's happening, Reef Builders friends? I'm Jake Adams coming back at you for another great video update here at the Reef Builder Studio. I hope you enjoyed my previous tours of the 40 gallon LPS Aquarium, the 75 gallon Euphilia Aquarium, the 100 gallon Turbinaria and Soft Coral Tank. But now I wanna share with you something that has been uh, in my mind as part of the genesis of the studio. And this is the flagship Peninsula Reef Tank that's been sitting here for so long. There was so much drama in trying to get this thing leveled. But now that it's going, it's looking amazing. I don't have really any corals in it yet, but it still looks really, really good. And this tank is kind of the opposite of the other, um, basically, Insta Reef Tanks that I set up. And, and it's also not on a system, it's a uh, single aquarium standalone display. So in this tank, we can take a little bit more time and show you the equipment, show you the lighting, show you how it works. So let's get to it. So here it is, you guys. The one and only flagship reef here at the Reef Builder Studio. This is a water box, a six foot water box aquarium, crystal clear glass, Incredible craftsmanship. I've got my clear view Pisces uh, Evo lid on top. We've got a classic, classic peninsula style layout. Um, this aquascape actually came together really, really well. I think I just uh, had a couple drinks and just kind of let the creativity flow. And uh, right now, as you can see, it's just rock and a few fish, but it is completely reefed out with equipment on top and below. So let me show you how this particular aquarium works. And uh, man, I cannot wait, I cannot wait to reef this up. But for now, I'm really, really enjoying as is. One of the first things that you'll notice about this aquarium is I've got my custom made Ecotech Marine Radeon power strip. So basically I've just put together a uh, piece of bent conduit, bolted it to the pole, hung the other end here from the ceiling, and I've got four Radeon Gen 4 Pros in a row, lighting up the bejesus out of this peninsula style reef tank. So for the video, I've actually got the lights up on full brightness. This is completely white, full brightness. Um, but uh, since it's uh, just a fish tank at the moment, the, the scheduling on this aquarium is actually only at 10%. Um, this is for a number of reasons. I'm just kind of uh, uh, cycling the tank, not for bacteria, but more for algae uh, to, to really, really reduce it. Let this tank, let the, uh, the biofauna of this tank really grow uh, before I reef it all out. And you can see one little spot here where the, uh, the sun kind of hits this rock. It's got a tiny, tiny bit of diatoms. But uh, otherwise, this tank's been going for two or three weeks now. Um, doing really, really well. Got great lighting. Got an amazing fish. We've got the very large yellow tang there, Butters. Let's see if we can get uh, a focus on him. What's up, little man? Not so little man. So I love this fish. And we've got a little yellow tang in there as well as uh, in addition to a very, very, very healthy uh, chevron tang. But the one thing about this large uh, wild caught yellow tang is he does not like to eat his veggies. So I've been feeding him a bunch of nori and sometimes he wants to eat just that. And at first I was making uh, wraps of nori and, uh, and spinach, but today, I gave him just spinach and uh, gave him a little scolding, told him to eat his vegetables. So um, there's about uh, probably 100, 120 pounds of used natural live rock. And uh, like I said, I've set it up in a peninsula style. And what that means is I can view the tank from both sides, but I've set this up with two MP60s, again, at the back and at the bottom. So the idea is that with these vortex, I'm going to be able to create some amazing, amazing gyres. So with one vortex on, all the water flow washes down one end and back the other. With the other uh, MP60, the flow reverses. But if I have them both on at the same time, I can get a different gyre that goes completely across the bottom, upwells here on the end, and then flows back across the reef. 
So the concept for this aquarium is I'm calling it the flagship reef tank because this is really to acknowledge and thank the channel sponsors for giving me the opportunity to have an amazing uh, reef aquarium YouTube channel without having to hawk products and push merch and beg you guys to subscribe. So this tank is gonna be strictly Ecotech Marine, Brightwell Additives, and Worldwide Corals Corals. That is right. This tank is gonna be exclusively for Worldwide Coral Strains, and I'm gonna have a very heavy emphasis on acros. So I know the rock isn't built up that high, but that's because I like to view my stuff from above, and I feel like this is gonna give a ton, a ton of water flow uh, movement, and it's gonna allow me to grow the corals much higher, and I really appreciate the you know, full, full stony coral colonies. Okay, so here's a quick look at uh, what's uh, driving the uh, water box Crystal Peninsula six footer and um, that I'm calling the flagship reef. This is the stock sump that comes with the tank. And I've taken the doors off just to get a, uh, a better look at what's inside and to get a little bit more light in there. So everything that I'm doing is all Berlin style. So you'll see no sand, no substrate, tons of flow, minimal amount of rock. Um, the, it's, all, it's using the continuous siphon overflow method to empty into this first chamber. Then it goes into some filter socks, which I believe are clogged and are ready for uh, cleaning. Then some filter cups. And then we've got this big, open, just generic, general sump area. So right now I'm using the um, Delu Australia GW10 on this particular tank. Got a little bit of modification to the silencer because this thing is a beast and it sucks in more air than the, the, the stock silencer um, can really quiet down. But um, otherwise, this, uh, this skimmer is doing great. But like I said, this tank is going to be all Ecotech Marine products. So hopefully they put out a skimmer one day. Uh, in the meantime, that skimmer is rocking it. Just like every other system here at the studio, we've got a calc reactor. This is the uh, Avast Marine K1, which I assembled myself, as you'll see. So right now, all the evaporation water is being provided by that. I do want a float valve to make up the difference if there's ever a discrepancy. And then uh, last but not least, we've got the Vortec L1, sorry, the Vectra L1, returning water up to the tank. And uh, you know what, I love this curved pipe because a lot of people would just use a bunch of different bends of rigid PVC and that's just not, not as classy as it could be. And uh, also got my trusty Mycom heater there in this first chamber where it's always gonna be submerged. And uh, yeah, oh, you know what I should show you? I gotta show you the cable management on this thing because it's really, really, really nice. Okay, so on this side, you can get a better look of the stock sump that comes with the water box uh, Crystal Peninsula. It's not the biggest sump for the tank this size, but it's actually more than enough room. You see, I've got all kinds of room left over after putting in a calc reactor, which doesn't even need to be inside, and the uh, Delu Australia Great White 10. And here's my clogged filter socks that definitely need a cleaning. At some point, I really do wanna switch this out with a uh, automatic filter but what I really came over here to show you was this immaculate cable management solution I put together which takes um, about as much creativity as everything else because if you look inside <laughs> despite having uh, eight power supplies or seven power supplies there's nothing on the ground we've got all the cords cleaned up there with custom small um, power cords and then i got these uh, dual baskets here from home depot so each of the power supplies can rest on its own levels it's got enough room to breathe and cool down and then we've got our controllers uh, easy access right here on the door uh, just kind of all cleaned up and put together but uh, you know this is where I'll have room for dosing or, or accessories or additives and there's still one final section over there um, that I can uh, leverage for keeping stuff uh, nice and tidy. Man, feels like I've been filming all day to show you the four new displays here at the Reef Builder Studio. 
If you're just coming across this mini series, make sure and uh, check the last few videos where I show off those tanks over there, the innovative marine tanks, each with a different concept inside. And I hope you've enjoyed this preview of the, uh, the flagship reef tank that is going to be one of my pride and joys here at the studio. This will be a permanent setup. I'm gonna grow those worldwide coral strains forever and ever and grow the biggest uh, versions possible of each one of them. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this mini series. If you like this video, give it a like. If you wanna see more, make sure to subscribe. If you never wanna miss it, make sure to hit that notification bell. Um, by the time you guys see this, I will have cracked 50,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much, so much. And also by the time you see this, I will have been uh, diving for a little while and I will have bagged some amazing corals to bring back and uh, some, hopefully some great footage to share with you guys. So um, thanks to the uh, Reef Builders crew, the family, the watchers, the audience for really uh, being wind in my sails and, and doing this reef life as hard as I possibly know how. You guys really, really help with the motivation and the inspiration to, to keep going as hard as I possibly know how. And uh, yeah, I again, I say it all the time, these videos are for you guys. I really hope you enjoy them and uh, yeah I've definitely by the time you are watching this hopefully I will be towards the tail end of a well-deserved mini working vacation and we'll have a lot more uh, footage for you guys and videos of the natural reef so I will see some of you guys at Reef Palooza Orlando very very soon and if not until then I will catch you guys on the next video ciao